lithium-ion batteries, commonly referred to as Li-ion batteries, represent a significant advancement in rechargeable battery technology. Their popularity has soared due to their high energy density, lightweight, and long cycle life, making them ideal for use in various applications, from consumer electronics to electric vehicles (EVs). The structure of a Li-ion battery is relatively simple but highly efficient. It consists of an electrolyte composed of lithium hexafluorophosphate (LiPF6) in an organic solvent, which acts as a medium for lithium ions to move between the positive and negative electrodes during the charge and discharge cycles. The development of Li-ion batteries can be traced back to the 1970s when British chemist M. Stanley Whittingham made significant contributions to the field. Whittingham used titanium disulfide, TIS2, combined with lithium metal to create electrodes. These early lithium batteries showed promise due to their high energy density. However, the practical application of these batteries was limited by high production costs and safety concerns. Materials like titanium disulfide, when exposed to air, undergo oxidation-reduction reactions that produce hazardous substances such as hydrogen sulfide, H2S, which poses significant challenges in manufacturing and usage. In 1980, American physicist John B. Goodenough made a breakthrough that significantly advanced lithium-ion battery technology. Goodenough replaced titanium disulfide with lithium cobalt oxide, LiCoO2, for the cathode. This change not only provided greater stability, but also allowed for a higher voltage output, making the batteries more practical for widespread use. Goodenough's work laid the foundation for the development of modern lithium-ion batteries. Three years later, in 1983, Japanese chemist Akira Yoshino developed a prototype lithium-ion battery that used a carbon-based anode instead of lithium metal. This innovation improved the safety of the batteries by preventing the formation of lithium dendrites, which can cause short circuits. Yoshino's prototype, which utilized lithium cobalt oxide and polyacetylene, marked a significant step toward contemporary lithium-ion battery technology. This development paved the way for the safe and reliable batteries we use today. The significant milestone in the commercialization of lithium-ion batteries came in 1991 when Sony Energy Tech commercialized the technology. Sony introduced these batteries in various shapes, including cylindrical, prismatic, and flat designs. This commercialization effort demonstrated the potential of lithium-ion batteries in a wide array of applications, from consumer electronics to electric vehicles. The introduction of these batteries to the market marked the beginning of a new era in energy storage technology. What is the lithium battery production process? Lithium batteries come in many different shapes and sizes, but their internal structure includes four main parts, positive electrode, negative electrode, electrolyte, and insulating membrane. At that time, lithium battery production will be carried out according to the following steps. Step one, prepare the electrodes. First, materials such as active ingredients, AM, Conductive additives and adhesives are put into a specialized machine to mix well. Then, a homogeneous slurry mixture with solvent is obtained. Next, this slurry mixture is flowed through a grooved mold, coating both sides of the current collector evenly. This is a device with an anode made of copper foil and a cathode made of aluminum foil which is then sent to a drying tool to let the solvent evaporate quickly. Because the mud mixture is essentially a water-based anode, when it evaporates directly into the outside environment, it is completely harmless. That is why lithium battery production technology is called green, 
environmentally friendly energy technology. The final step in the production line of electrodes is to send them to a vacuum furnace, which removes all excess water. The moisture content of the electrodes will be careful lie checked after drying to ensure that no side reactions occur, minimizing corrosion in the cells as well as increasing the battery's lifespan. Step 2. Cell Assembly After the lithium battery electrodes have been prepared, at this point, the manufacturer will arrange and roll them up in layers with the separator placed between the two electrodes to form the structure of the cell. Aluminum and copper samples are respectively welded to the cathode and anode currents using the common welding method of ultrasonic or resistance. As for cell stacks, there is currently no consistent standard, so depending on the manufacturer, they may be delivered in enclosures of different designs. The housing is then filled with liquid electrolyte and finally sealed. Thus, the cell production process for lithium-ion batteries is completed. Now comes the final important step, which is electrochemical activation of the battery. Step 3. Activate lithium battery electrochemistry. Lithium batteries have the advantage of extremely fast yet safe charging, all thanks to a stable solid electrolyte interface, SEI, which is able to prevent irreversible consumption of the electrolyte. This helps protect the battery's anode from overvoltage phenomena that cause fires and explosions during high-speed charging, while also limiting the formation of Li dendrites. However, lithium-ion batteries can degrade quickly when charging the cells at a power source with a voltage level below 1.5 V. Therefore, to ensure that the copper current collector does not corrode and promote a longer life, the lithium battery production process will have a short break to wet the electrolyte. When entering the charging-discharging phase of the lithium battery, the cells are at a relatively low rate, only around C20. The speed is then slowly increased to create a stable active SEI solid electrolyte layer on the surface of the anode. At the end of the charge-discharge cycle, the gas generated from this process will be discharged to ensure safety. The cells are stored on aging racks to wet the electrolyte and also stabilize the solid electrolyte interface, SEI. Before the cells are sealed, lithium-ion battery production proceeds from a degassing step. Normally, this step will take a few weeks to perform. Time may vary depending on the aging process and temperature between different manufacturing units. In Vietnam, manufacturers also rely on the standard three-step process above to create lithium batteries for the market, especially the electric car industry. The extraction of lithium and other critical materials, such as cobalt and nickel, poses significant environmental challenges. Traditional mining methods for these materials are resource-intensive and environmentally damaging. For instance, extracting one ton of lithium requires approximately 500,000 gallons of water, leading to severe water shortages in some regions. Additionally, mining operations often result in habitat destruction and pollution. Advances in Sustainable Production In response to these environmental challenges, researchers and companies are developing more sustainable methods for lithium extraction and battery production. One of the most promising methods is direct lithium extraction, DLE. Companies like Energy X, have developed DLE technologies that significantly reduce water usage and environmental impact. DLE methods increase lithium yield and efficiency, making them more sustainable alternatives to traditional mining techniques. The Future of Lithium-Ion Battery Technology Continued innovation in materials and manufacturing processes is essential for advancing lithium-ion battery technology. New battery chemistries such as lithium sulfur, Li-S, and sodium ion, Ni-ion, 
promise higher energy densities and lower costs. However, these new technologies face challenges in terms of stability, safety, and scalability. Lithium Sulfur Batteries Lithium sulfur batteries offer higher energy density compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. However, they suffer from poor cycle life and stability due to the formation of soluble polysulfides during cycling. Sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries use sodium ions instead of lithium ions, making them a more sustainable alternative due to the abundance of sodium. However, sodium ion batteries currently have lower energy density and shorter cycle life compared to lithium ion batteries. Applications and versatility. Lithium ion batteries versatility makes them suitable for a wide range of applications, from portable electronics to large-scale energy storage systems for renewable energy. The ongoing development of solid-state batteries, which use solid electrolytes instead of liquid ones, aims to enhance safety and energy density further. Electric Vehicles EVs. Lithium ion batteries are the preferred choice for electric vehicles due to their high energy density and long cycle life. Advances in battery technology are crucial for increasing the driving range and reducing the cost of EVs. Renewable energy storage. Lithium ion batteries play a vital role in storing energy from renewable sources such as solar and wind. Efficient energy storage systems are essential for integrating renewable energy into the grid and ensuring a stable power supply. As demand for lithium-ion batteries increases, developing environmentally friendly extraction and production methods is crucial to mitigate negative impacts. Sustainable practices, such as recycling up to 80% of battery components, are vital for reducing waste and conserving resources. Recycling and Reuse Recycling lithium-ion batteries involves recovering valuable materials such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which can be reused in new batteries. Efficient recycling processes help reduce the environmental impact of battery production and extend the supply of critical materials. By embracing these innovations and practices, the future of lithium-ion battery technology looks promising offering cleaner, safer, and more efficient energy storage solutions for a wide range of applications. The evolution of lithium-ion batteries is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, lithium-ion batteries will remain at the forefront of the global effort to create a sustainable and energy-efficient future. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.